Creating tests in Postman is awesome and rather easy to do, but running all these collections manually every time you want to, well, validate your API is a hassle and we want to automate this. I'll show you in this video how to get yours started. So as always, you don't want to test your stuff manually. You want to automate this and have this as a repetitive task uh, scheduled once per day, per week, maybe every, every build, uh, but not something you want to do by yourself or by some tester or whoever is responsible for, for testing the APIs. So to do this, well, first thing you need to do is create a, a, post, a test in your Postman collection. So that's, that's well, something we covered the basics for in, in a, a previous video. Uh, but once you have all of that set up, uh, you can do some, some, well, cool stuff. I'll show you. So over here we have the, the Postman uh, GUI again. Um, uh, demo collection 4 we're using with the demo environment uh, uh, 4. And when, when you're in this overview or when you're wherever in this screen, uh, you can run the collection. So I, I've, I've added some, some tests to all of these requests and doing some expectations. And what I can do right now is press the three dots and uh, use the run collection over here in, in, the, in the menu. So when I'm doing the run connection, I can well, select which endpoints to test, what's the order they should be tested in, and run demo collection four with a specific environment, of course. So it's now doing its tests. So running the request for, for the post and the, the get created URL has a dependency on the create minified URL. So they have to run in turn. This is also something you can do with your own API, with your own uh, test collection. And what this is doing, well, aside from, from invoking all of your APIs, it's getting you a nice overview of what has failed and what has passed. So over here you can see most of my tests have passed, aside from one, which obviously is a bug in, in my backend code, um, because I'm expecting a non-existent URL to be a 404, and I got a 500. So that's a server error. And well, uh, I think this should be a 404. So I can go back to my developer team uh, stating, hey, this fails, please fix it. And I can do this run multiple times. So this is great, but still it requires some uh, degree of, of manual intervention because you have to press the run collection by yourself. Uh, you can also schedule this stuff when you're paying for Postman. You have access to the to the Postman cloud, and you can schedule this stuff. And well, the Postman cloud is a lot of awesome stuff, but that's not something I'm using, and that's not something you have to use. Are you using this professionally? Sure, pay a couple of bucks for for it because that's worth worth it. But what you can do if you're using this for side projects or maybe semi-professional projects. Uh, you can do the export over here uh, and export the collection to well some uh, uh, some uh, JSON file. So I've got it over here. Uh, I'm just gonna overwrite it. Uh, save. Yes, I want to replace it, but I also need the environment uh, because it contains a couple of well variables uh, I'll be using in the backend. So I also need to export this one. Uh, I already did this in advance, of course, but I'm overwriting these files. So and now I can use them on my local machine using a tool called Newman. Newman is a CLI uh, for invoking, well, Postman collections. So you can see Windows Terminal is auto-completing this, this for me because I've ran this command multiple times before and it, it knows this stuff. And so I'm saying Newman run my collection with an environment, demo for Postman environment, and you should be ignoring redirects. Same as the settings in the Postman GUI, uh, you have to set a setting if you want the reader, if you don't want to follow redirects. Pressing enter. 
it's running. Same for uh, the run collection in the well in the, in the postman. And as you see, I'm also getting the 404 uh, search in which it was a failed test. So pretty similar to the GUI, just now it's something you can run in, in your uh, well build pipeline because your build pipeline can install Newman and uh, you can uh, run these things. So what's, what's Newman about? Because I don't have it installed on my machine, you might think. Well, I'll, I'll show you. Newman is an, well, it's an NPM package. So over here is the site. Um, it's, it's a CLI for Postman, just like I was saying. Um, you can install it, Newman, Newman I, an NPM I Newman, or I think there's also uh, packages for, for other, uh, other uh, uh, frameworks. But you can install it and it has a nice nice how to on, on how to how to run with this so definitely check this out it it's well it's something i've been using for years now um and it works quite fine and it's one of the easiest way to get you started uh doing api tests so hopefully this video was useful to you uh, if you want to know more about postman testing uh, running CLI commands with it or something totally different. Let me know and uh, be sure to tune in next time. Thank you.